All right, hey guys. Um, it's been a it's been a few days since I've made a video. Um, oh wow, there goes my my fan. Okay, I'm using a laptop now. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough around it and uh, just kind of show you. Well, as far as what I can. Of course, I'm running Windows 7. In fact, um. There. I decided to run Windows 7 on this one because I have a something you probably didn't know is I've been uh, strongly going into the automotive industry, uh, working on cars and such, and so I bought an OBD2 um, code reader for cars and vehicles. So the software wasn't compatible with Windows 8, so I said basically, well, we're just going to have to get rid of Windows 8. Alright, so as you can see here, it's activated. Um, that's starting to smell funny. Just one, I mean. Um, we got an experience index of 3.3, which, um, eh, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. This is a lot faster than my desktop. Um, uh, it's got 3 gigs of memory like my desktop does, but it's, um, the CPU is faster. And, um, It's a 64-bit system, so um, which is good. I like that. Uh, all right, so yeah, I have my graphic setting on max performance. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have a fan, a little fan, you know go in there so you'll, you'll of course you'll hear that in the video um there's no way around that unless i edit it but i'm not editing <laughs> uh too much time uh, to do that so i uh, i mean it's got a good experience index the uh, processor got a 5.8 that's almost a six actually i'll round that up to a six so that counts as a six 3.3 is well 3.3 and the hard drive is 5.8 so um, everything's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to complain with this. So, that's that. Um, let's actually see what the core temperature is right now. Since it started, uh, heating up, you know. It's at, uh, two, two, two oh one. Oh god. That, yeah, that's pretty, pretty hot. Pretty hot. It, it'll calm down once I, uh, finish the recording, but, uh, anyway, here's the Windows 7 loader, that's what I, you know, had to use to load it up, you know, friend sent me an IS server, alright, sorry about that, um, I'm sure you heard the knocking on the door before I paused it, anyway, um, so here's the code scanning software, um, of course, I'm not connected to a vehicle, so I can't really do that. I will, I will, uh, I will run a test, um, or I'll, I'll do a scan on a vehicle in a couple of days as a demo. I'll just do a demo in a few days and show you. But um, anyway, you get the setup, and of course, um. Like if I, uh, well, dang. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna unplug the camera because I'm not using it right now. So, anyway, you just, you know, you plug the code scanner in. Just plug that in, right, right, uh, the USB code, um, scanning. Why isn't it going in? Like that. 
that. Of course, you get power for it, and then you'll probably see it show up. And if not, I'll just restart the software. And you can get this. Okay, see, you get this right there. You'll see the that's the uh, scan tool. All right. And so that that would be plugged in. You plug it into the OBD2 port in your car. Hit connect. It do it come up with a little window right here and do its thing. Connect with the computer on the car. And you go to diagnostics. And if there's a trouble code, it'll show up here. And it'll give you the description right there. So there's that. So that's for codes. And then here you come to monitor and you get oxygen sensors, you know, do little tests to see how it's doing, how it's performing. Uh, you do that and then you get a virtual dashboard. So um, you can see your mass airflow the load on the engine, the coolant temperature, the miles per hour, intake, how much I think fuel intake? Fuel looks like fuel. Okay. You get your time advantage, time advance and throttle position. You can do logs. Okay, sorry about that again. Um anyway. You can do logs here. Uh, you know, you just if you set it up, you get a little, you know, log chart here with the, the whole lines, the squiggly lines here, and then another one there. You can do multiple ones for different things. And then of course that brings us back to here. You can do uh, this, that, that. I haven't done the fuel setup so. Um, hmm. So you can do fuel, yeah, direct fuel rate. Right? I'll have to do that next time I run a test. But, uh, yeah, I think you get your vehicle info right there, and then of course that's the version of the um, software. We'll exit and uh, let's see what else. Well, let's have another one. That might be it, actually. Of course, these are the only gadgets you get on Windows 7 now, because they're all discontinued. So, be happy with these. Yeah, I didn't know they discontinued it until yesterday. Uh, I went to the website and they were discontinued. I was like, oh no. But yeah, just continue. And then after that, okay, doing all this, I'll do a slight review on the program real quick. I can do a program review on Manicam. It's a fun little program. You know, once it starts up, of course, it's pretty neat. Oh, okay. Who's that? That's me. Okay. So, get distortions. Get fire. Oh god. Get flames. This is supposed to look like flames coming on, but take a look at this.
in here. I'll do another. I'll uh, do another video where I'm using a webcam to record. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.